The fill handle is another really useful tool that can save you time. It's a really simple one to use once you know how. So, for example, here I've got one, two, three, and four. I just roll over to the corner. It will give me a little black plus. Click and drag all the way to the end, and it will fill it in for you. And um, it also knows it can recognise patterns, and it also knows sort of other useful um, ideas. So this one, I've got the days of the week, and rather than type them all in, I've just typed first three in. Grab the corner, drag it down, and it will fill in for me. It can also recognise some patterns. You can hear it. I've got. You can see I've got A B C A B C. And if I wanted to follow that pattern down, grab the corner, and it will go A B C A B C. And it will follow that pattern down for me, and it can do that with numbers as well for you. The next tutorial is on conditional formatting. Now this could be useful if you want to um, change some cells in your workbook. Maybe you want to look at people who passed or failed, or people who passed being green, failed being red. It just makes it easier to find certain information. So in this one. What the task is asking you to do is highlight all the cells which contain the number 7 and they want it to be in green with navy text. So I'm going to highlight it. And then you're going to go to conditional formatting, which is on the home tab. We're going to say highlight cell rules and we're going to say equal to. So I want to highlight all the cells that are equal to the number 7. I want it to be green with navy text. I'm going to go to custom format. I'm going to go to fill. And I want it to be green. And then for the font, I want it to be a navy font. And I click OK. Click OK. And you'll see it's highlighting them for you. You can also select the same data again. And you can put a second rule in. Again. Now this time I'm not going to do equal to. This, one, this time I want cells that are greater than. So I'm going to go conditional formatting. And I want to go to greater than. So if they're greater than 7, custom format, this time I'm going to fill it with navy, and I'm going to have my green fonts. Okay. We just got the second practice example there. Another really useful tool is calculating the min, the max, and the average. So if you want to find the highest number, you put your equals in to tell you it's looking for a formula. And you can just use equals max, open your brackets, tell it what you want to find the maximum number in, what range, close your bracket, and press enter. This one you're trying to find the lowest number, so you're going to use equals min, you're going to open brackets. You can see it's not important whether I type it in capitals or lowercase, it will accept it. Highlight all your data, close your bracket, and press enter. Average is another very useful one. That's going to be equals average. Open your bracket. Highlight all the data. Close your bracket. And you've got one more activity to do down there.